Hey guys, so my name is Cookie and I have to tell you guys that I must admit that I am a shopaholic for makeup. Okay, so I went back to Sephora for another round of 20% off. Yeah, 20% off may not be this huge amount, but when you spend a lot of money on makeup, we get excited about this 20%. So my second trip back to Sephora, or my third, or fourth, <laughs> whatever this is, I made another trip back to Sephora on yesterday, the last day of the sale, and then I went back today. By accident, I had to go in the mall for something else. And then they had out two palettes that they did not have out yesterday, which leads me to believe that there's a conspiracy so that we could not get the 20% off on these great products. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes. So, here goes this haul. I picked up, you guys have seen this, well not this particular kind, but you've seen the original. This is the Aqua de Gio, I think that's how you pronounce it, but this is the Jasmine edition. And the original is like my, one of my all time favorite perfumes. Like I love the smell of it. Well, this one with Jasmine smells even better. I mean, I was asking the sales associate to uh, make me a sample of it and she did. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so good. I love the way this goes with my body chemistry. I'm gonna spray that because yeah. Oh my gosh, this smells so, so good. Love the smell of it. But it has jasmine, and so it has a different scent to it. I don't know what the notes is. I don't have it in front of me. But it's just this nice, sweet, subtle. If you guys have smelled the original, just imagine that it has a little hint of jasmine to it. Oh my gosh. I was not even looking to purchase a perfume, but um, they had put it on the shelf, and I said, let me get a sample. Then I smelled it, and I said, you know what? Let me just buy it. Therefore, I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> so, then I picked up, this is um, the darkest color that they had in the Too Faced Born This Way. It's an oil-free, undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation. This is in the color Caramel. So, I picked it up because I wanted to try it. And even if I cannot, if this color is just a little too light for me, and I'm going to show this to you on camera so you guys can see it blended in. And I like the fact that it has a pump to it. You don't have to buy a separate one. The packaging is just gorgeous. It looks fancy. It looks like it's expensive. But the foundation itself, um, let's see how much it was. Hmm receipt after receipt here. I returned some items so that's why I have have that. Okay, so the foundation was $39 and so with the 20% off it was $31.20. So yeah, the packaging is really, really pretty. I love it. So even if I can't, if this is not my skin tone, which it's not, it's just a tad bit light, um, I'm just going to mix it with another foundation or put it in my kit. So that is it right there. And I think I'm going to try this on my face while we're on camera so you guys can see it. But that's it right there. So let me get my brush here. I love doing these type of videos where I can show you guys how it looks on my skin <laughs> while I'm showing you the product. Um, it's not too light at all, yeah. So if anything, I can use it for to highlight in this area here. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Oops, I'm about to knock the camera down. So tell me what you guys think, okay? So let me try this again. So that is it right there. So I don't think this is too light. I was really um, thinking that it was because on my right here, I guess my hand is a little darker, but right there, excuse my nails, I'm taking them off, so yeah. But that's it right there on my hand. So let's try this again. Let me get the mirror. Okay. 
So, it's a little light. But I can make this work as putting it underneath my eyes to highlight and then coming back with a darker foundation to um, to bronze me up a little. I can make this work. I can make this work. Um, hold on. I'm not editing, editing this video either. So what I wanna do is just kinda smooth out <laughs> the rest of my face with this foundation so that I won't be looking crazy. So it's just a tad bit light, but I'm gonna go in with a darker foundation, maybe this Sephora one, just so I won't be looking crazy on camera. This is the one that I, the foundation I purchased the other day. So I'm just going to warm up my face. Yeah, I can make this work. How crazy. This is not supposed to be a tutorial of any sort. I think I'm really going to like this Sephora foundation as well. Okay. I can make this work. I can make this work. Yeah, yeah, I can make this work. So, let me zoom you back out. So now it looks like it blends very well. I'm going to wear that foundation tomorrow to work. And see how it works on my skin throughout the day. Okay, so this, the cost of this perfume right here was... Let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. It was priced at $45 and $9 off, so it was $36. Not bad. And it smells amazing. So anyway, so that is the Born This Way foundation on my face. But this was the darkest color, which is caramel. So hopefully, they may come out with a darker one. Hopefully, Too Faced is going to be listening. <laughs> Yeah, Too Faced, be listening to my video. You need some darker colors because us chocolate girls, ethnic girls, we need a variety. And I know this is the first time you guys have put out a foundation. Hey, I, I guess it is. It's the first time I've seen a foundation. So yeah, give us a little variety. Give us some choices. Okay, all of us is not fair skin. We need choices. <laughs> all right. So then I picked up another foundation, which I took a foundation back. And so this is more like an exchange. And this is the um, Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation. And the color that I had was Sienna. And I showed this to you guys some time ago. And I actually ended up purchasing Sienna again because the one that I had, the top had came off and so there was something else that some other products that was sitting on top of it so it oozed out so i bought sienna again and then realized that it was just a little too dark for my skin tone so i got a sample of the tobacco and the tobacco was perfect so i'm thinking it's because it's getting cooler um so the weather's changing it's not the summertime it's more fall winter winter is coming so i think i'm just brightening up just a tad but not a whole lot but um so i got this in tobacco this is one of my favorite foundations so yeah and they only had this one left so i thought i was gonna have to get the the one that's in a taller bottle but it's more of a full coverage foundation but they end up having this so i'm going crazy on foundations and then this is the palette that i told you guys that i was going to get which is the Too faced natural matte palette um, so the packaging looks like this and I'm not going to swatch this because I may be taking this back um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I'm not going to swatch this but I'm going to show you guys the color. So this is like an all matte palette um, and so this is 
the colors. So I have similar colors in other palettes, but the color that I really liked, the two colors that I really liked in here was Honey Butter and Chocolate Cookie. Um, but I think I have some colors that's very similar, but because I went back today and they had out, uh, they had out a palette that I really wanted. And so this is probably gonna be going back. So I'm gonna keep that in the back and I'm pretty sure it's gonna go back. So I went today because I had to go to the mall for something else, but my Sephora is in JCPenney's. So I always just walk by it or walk through it. And then I saw, I was so mad guys, I was so mad. <laughs> but they had out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette. Now, this palette was not with the Anastasia Beverly Hills product. They had this kind of like on the end cap in the middle, um, on the outside of Sephora, not on the inside. And so, and I'm thinking this was not here yesterday because I looked around for this palette because I that I was wanting it because I had seen some pictures on Instagram. I saw a couple of YouTube videos, and I was like. OMG. Now look at this packaging here. Let me take this paper off so you guys can see it. But it looks fancy. Fancy, fancy. Look at that, guys. This is such a beautiful packaging. Like, I absolutely love this packaging. So sleek. And these are the colors. And it comes with a brush. But those are the colors. How beautiful. Like, this is my second palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and I swatched them in the store, which I'm going to swatch them for you right now. So this video is probably going to be extra long. Um, let me go ahead and get my wipe out. Okay. So pink champagne. This is a re-promote because it is in another palette. Um, it's in the, uh, whatever the last one is. So that's it right there. And that's it on my fingers. Look how pretty that is. And so that's pink champagne. And this is metallic plum. Ooh, love it, love it. And this is self-made. So this is the name of the palette, which is self-made. And it's a bronzy gold color. And then there's one called Witchy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is really soft. Look at that. That is so pigmented. And that's more like a, a dark grayish olive green color. And then here's this color that's called Blush. See where I can put it. Ooh, that's pretty. It's kind of like a grayish iridescent color. And then there's Blossom, and that's just a really pretty soft pink color. So the names, name of that one suits it very well. And then you have this color called Buttery, and it's smooth, and it's a light yellow pigmented color. And that's it right there. It'd be pretty for all over the eyelid as a base color. And then they have Deep Purple. Gosh, this is gorgeous. Look at there. How pretty. And then there's Treasure. And this is a really soft champagne color. That's it. And this is Hot and Cold. This is a bronzy brown. Very, very pretty. And Sherbet is a really pretty color. It's a peachy coral color. And I can see wearing Sherbet and Hot and Cold together. But that's it right there. It's just a lighter version. Doesn't have as much sheen to it. And then Isla is this gorgeous pea green color. Really like that color. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. And then Spirit Rock is a bluish black with some glitter to it. Ooh, that is very pigmented. I am so in love with these colors. And then the color that, oh, 
can deepen the crease. You can wear this as a nice um, fall color, fall look. It's called Hot Chocolate. That's really pretty. So these are the colors that swatched on my hand, guys. This palette is going to get used. Yeah, I'm ready to use this baby. Um, but those are the swatches for all the colors. And I didn't mind swatching these because I'm keeping this palette. This palette is not going back. So the other palette was the new Urban Decay palette. Um, and I was going to purchase it, had it at the register, but it wasn't scanning for a price. Because they had just, it was sitting on the counter, so they hadn't really checked it in. And so, um, I couldn't get it. So, the sales associate is going to call me tomorrow to let me know that I can come by and pick it up. So, she put my name and my telephone number on it. So, because they only had like four, I only saw four of the palettes out. I don't know if they had more. But I just told her, I said, please make sure you call me so I can come and pick up this palette. So that was the only reason I didn't purchase it. And so that's why I say the natural matte palette is going to go back because I can buy that anytime from Too Faced. But the other palette that came out from Urban Decay is a collaboration with Gwen Stefani. It's a beautiful palette and a limited edition. So I can't get that anytime. So I'm taking that palette back so I can get that palette and come back at some other time and purchase it. So yeah guys, those are my purchases from Sephora and I'll come back with my Urban Decay palette and I will swatch it for you guys as well. So again, this is the foundation, um, the Too Faced. I'm really liking this and as it's starting to settle, it doesn't look too light. Like I'm looking in this mirror and I'm looking in this mirror and it just seemed like it's soaking into my skin. You guys let me know. It's just... And I know I put the um, the Sephora one on top of it to kind of even it out a little, but I'm really liking this, guys. Really liking it. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I am about to get ready to take this off now and go to bed because it's late. <laughs> but I wanted to get this video up so for you guys. But anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye.